in day what? Who? Iran. There you go. Read. Verse 21. And the rough goat is the king of Grisha. And that too? And the rough goat is the king of Grisha. Who's that? Who's that? Who's the king of Grisha? Alexander. Like we mentioned earlier. Go ahead. And the great horn that is between his eyes is the first king. Verse 22. Now that being broken, whereas four stood up for it, four kingdoms shall stand up out of the nation, but not in his power. Not in his power, but in the power of Satan. These are the four generals mm -hmm. that came out of Alexander the Greek. Go ahead. Verse 23. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up. Now this is a straight king that deals with black magic and, and Satanism on a high level. This is Antiochus and Epiphanes, who perfected what Alexander could not. Was dealing with high witchcraft and black magic on the highest level. Read. Verse 24. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper in practice, and shall destroy the mighty and holy people. When it talks about practice, that practice goes into black magic. And he shall destroy the holy people. Who's the holy people? Hold it in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy. So to show you that this stuff is race specific, this is a target. This is not just some bad people going around the earth doing bad things because they want money. That's how, that, that's how the public try to downplay it. Well, these people are just greedy and they want money. No. They have a target people they are looking to destroy according to prophecy. This whole aim is towards destroying the children of Israel. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Read it. For thou art an holy people unto the most high by power. For it talking about the children of Israel. Thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Read. The most high thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He chose thee to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And that's perfectly clear. And there's nothing wrong with that. Instead of getting caught up into the emotion of whether or not the Most High chose a people, let's look at the fact that they have set up a government that's aimed towards destroying these holy people. Let's concentrate on that. So these people must be important if the whole world government have been set up to destroy them. There must be something with these people. And if these are the people of God, it behooves everyone else to get behind these people. And help these people. Because these are they who will be standing when it's all over. According to prophecy. Go back. Uh, Daniel chapter 8 verse 25. Go ahead. And through his policy he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace shall destroy many. By what? And by peace shall destroy many. They will come in the psychology of peace and safety. Well, we just want to make you safe. We're just trying to have peace talks. Every time they say peace, know that death is coming. It's total psychology. What they're saying is the actual reverse. It's no peace. How can you have peace telling us you've had peace talks in the Middle East for all these years and there's nothing but war, death, and destruction? So that means your peace is war. Your peace is war against us. We? He also shall stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. To show you that the same power that was in Antiochus Epiphanes is operating within the world governments today. They're going to fight against Christ. NASA, what they build out in space. What do you think they're trying to find if there's water on Mars? Are you kidding me? What they out there in space for? What, the, what you have the military in charge of the space program for? Yes. 
Star Trek. They out there getting ready for the war, the final frontier. In, in the recession as well, like what Malcolm again from going out to space, unless we're going to repair the satellites that give the signal of what. Why are we venturing further and paying all this money when, when there's people starving in the end? Exactly. What, what good is it? it must, what good is having all these, you've made a point, billions of dollars in technology and space, yet, but yet claim we're in a, a recession? But yet claim that there's no money for social programs and to feed the poor? But yet, well, shouldn't the money go towards the people in Earth instead of the machines you have on the outside of Earth? Weaponry. They're preparing for the second coming. They're claiming there's nothing out there. They're claiming that they're just out there doing nothing. And I'm going to tell you, brothers and sisters, they work in day and night understanding these prophecies. And while something is coming from out of that sky, and it's not planet X, Ever so often, you get some one of these Satanists who come up with a new program to totally throw you off from prophecy. Oh, that's Planet Nubaru or Planet X or, Rome, or this on the Mayan calendar. All of those are from the same groups and their diversions. Project Blue Beam, all of that is diversions. They they rather it be anything than what the Bible says it is. So they give you these alternative processes so that atheists can defend their stance. They're not planning they're not planning for planet X or Nubaru or anything else to come out of this God. They know who's coming out of this God. Christ. It was prophesied in Acts the first chapter. Christ is coming out of this God. And when he come, you're talking about a brother. A mad brother with a bush. Okay? That's gonna break this atmosphere. Blacker than a coal. He's going to break this atmosphere. Now, I, could you imagine the Catholics who've been praying to Cedric Roger for so long? The look on their face when they see this big black mad guy coming, breaking this atmosphere? <laughs> Can you imagine the looks on Catholics' faces? Like, man, who's that? That's the guy you wasn't, you didn't know about. And he's coming back mad. He's not coming back to grab uh, 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 Hong Chi Kwong and Hong Fu Fu and, 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 and some other people all together in, 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 in Luis and Kent and have them all skip through some tulips together through the garden. It's none of that. He's not coming for a rainbow coalition so that everybody can hold hands and run through a garden in the heaven. He coming for total death and destruction. So that's why NASA's out there. That's why they would rather put more money in the space program than in feeding poor people. As a matter of fact, they want poor people dead. Period. Who's putting this stuff in the water to destroy the people in third world countries? Who's using the chemtrails and using different programs to change weather patterns so, they, so it don't rain on our people's villages. Who's doing that? Who's in charge of the vaccination programs and the Planned Parenthood programs that are destroying us? Go ahead. Verse 26. And the vision of the evening and the morning which was told is true. Wherefore shut thou up the vision, for it shall be for many days. Verse 27. And I, Daniel, fainted and was sick certain days. Afterward, I rose up and did the king's business. And I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. But none understood it. Why? Because it was shut up for the end. But now we're living in a time in which knowledge shall increase. You got it? What knowledge? The knowledge of our people. The Most High is going to manifest himself within our people. And it's going to come a time, right now it's about knowledge, but soon everything is going to have to be changed. That means serious sessions of prayer. Anointment 
and prayers so that we can connect to the Spirit all over the earth. That, that's the next phase of, of these teachings. The next phase is us talking about and coming together for writing down different prayers, writing down certain things, and executing them and praying together. Because it's time to it's really time to connect. We have the knowledge, now it's what to do what to do with it. Alright? And with that, hope you received something from the class today. I'll open it up for 10 minutes max. I want to make an announcement. Then after I make the announcement, then we'll open this up for questions. If you have any questions, it doesn't matter how small or big.